Okay, everyone, this is take two. I already messed up, so I'm gonna try this again. Do you guys know which side you're supposed to write on? The textured side or the not as textured side? Dang it, I need to Google it. It's really funny because it almost looks green. Oops, sorry for the naked lady. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dia. I appreciate you stopping by. Today, I'm gonna be doing a video on my favorite ink that I recently found. If you are a Hobonichi user, actually anybody who writes on Tomoe River paper, you're gonna love these inks. I found these on Jet Pens. I'll leave the link down below. There are nine colors, I believe, and I have six of the nine colors. These inks are waterproof and light fast and they are pigmented ink. So they're made for fountain pens, rollerball pens, and brushes. But Jet Pens has included a little disclaimer on their website about keeping your pens clean. I do not know that much about fountain pens. I know that I like using them and that's about it. But I guess because they're pigmented inks, if you leave them sitting in your pen for too long, it can ruin your pen. So you wanna make sure you check out that disclaimer before you use use these inks. I've had quite a few people ask me about these inks lately, so that's why I thought I would throw this video together. As you can tell, I'm a little bit obsessed with the Platinum Preppy pen. It is my favorite pen to use. I tried to put the Lily ink in my vanishing point yesterday, and it just wasn't the same. It's so frustrating that I like my $7 pen so much more than I like my hundred plus dollar pen. And it makes me feel very sad that it's sitting there, but I guess we need to use what we enjoy. So I'm gonna keep using my Platinum Preppies for now. Maybe it'll change and I'll go back to my vanishing points at some time. But for now, these are the pens that I'm using. Most of them are in a fine, which is a 0 0.03. One of them is in a 0 0.05 and the other one is in a 0 0.02 extra fine. I also purchased this little ink testing book on jet pens because I want to start keeping track of all of our inks, mainly to see which ones are waterproof, how fast they dry, not so much for the color of them. That's part of it. But what I want to do is go ahead and sample the color here, write what name it is. And then on the back, when my husband has time, I want to go ahead and test the pens to see how long they take to dry, kind of like they do on Goulet pens and Jet pens, which by the way, if you go to Jet pens, they have the little picture of all of the dry times and how these react with highlighters and water. And did I mention they're waterproof, which is really cool. I might give that a try. I haven't done it yet. One thing I did notice is there is a little bit of variation in dry time. I'm sure there's some tech technical reason why, but I don't know what it is. I do know that this black one takes longer to dry than some of these lighter colors. Some of them just go on more wet than others. If anybody knows why, they can educate me in the comments down below. But overall, these are so fast. And I know if I was a lefty, I would be using these inks because even not being a lefty, I always manage to smear my ink in my Hobonichis or anytime I'm using Tomo River paper. And ever since I got these inks, that has not been an issue at all. And I know you can use blotter paper. I do have blotter paper, but just that extra step of having to put the blotter paper between my pages or make sure that I have it, you know, on my hands so I don't smear anything I've already written is just an extra step that I don't care to take. And I feel like this has solved my problem. So I wanted to share it with all of you guys. I don't know how this video is going to go. I'm going to attempt to do this on video and we'll see what happens because I've never done this before. Okay, let me get started. Okay guys, this is take two. I already messed up, but I'm gonna try starting all over again. I'm gonna go ahead and start with swatching these two inks because I kind of feel like they're similar in color. I bought this one, Lily, because it's a brown color and I wanted something that wasn't as stark as black, but it's funny because I actually feel like it's kind of green. So it has some sort of green undertone to it. And then this one is a really beautiful green. The pictures on here kind of show what the colors will look like, but let's Let's go ahead and swatch them. Tonight 
Okay, there's that one. As you can tell, it looks really green. Or is that just me? I don't know. Okay, let me go on to the next one and I'll keep this one right here so you can see. Okay, so those are the first two pen swatches. I think I did an okay job. This is the first time I've ever done this. So you obviously can tell the difference between the two. This one is a lot more brown and this is green. I think these colors are so gorgeous. And just so you know, this paper is a little bit more textured than I'm used to. I'm used to writing on a really smooth, Tomori River paper, but you get the point. So, okay, let's try out the other colors now. We're gonna do this Carmen color next. This is the newest edition because it was back ordered and I had to wait for it to come back into stock, but I finally got it. And it's this beautiful like yellowy orange color. And it reminds me a lot of Apache Sunset that I think is a Noodler's ink. I can't remember, but Apache Sunset like never dries, never. That is so gorgeous. Okay guys, two things about this one, besides the fact that it is absolutely gorgeous and reminds me of a sunset, but I was putting Klinger, it's Klingner. And now that makes me wanna redo these, but I'm not going to because I'm going to embrace my mistake and move on from here. But if you can tell too, this one is in a 0.2 extra fine. I couldn't find another fine nib laying around, so I ended up writing this in extra fine. And I think this color would just show so much more beautifully if it was in a little bit thicker of a nib, but that's what we have. As you guys can tell too, I'm like touching these, they're dry. Next, we will do Jewel, which is a really pretty like rosy red color. I'm gonna go ahead and do this black one. I don't know if that's Lot, Lote, Lot, I don't know. I'm gonna do this one next, just because the last one is really gorgeous and I wanna save it for last. So this is the black. You can tell it's not like a true, true black. It actually looks like it has a little bit of brown to it, which I thought I was gonna like. But as you can tell down here, it is more inky and it just writes a little bit too thick for me. They do have a gray color and I think I'm gonna probably purchase that one next. Lastly is this beautiful blue one. It's Freda. Frida, not sure how you say that, but I use this one in my daily journaling.
I lied. I'm gonna redo these two. I have enough of these little swatch papers that I can go ahead and fix it. It'll drive me nuts if it's wrong and different from the rest of them. But anyway, these are the colors right here that I have so far. They are so gorgeous. And like I said, they dry really, really quickly. Uh, let me find, let me find some paper really quick to show you how fast some of these dry. Okay, I'm gonna use this. This is my Wonderland 222, and let me show you how fast, I don't even know which pen this is, or which ink this is, but it's the blue. Do you see how fast that dries? Like I said, the black one is a lot more inky and takes more time to dry. So you can see a little bit of smearing on that one. There's actually a little bit of smearing on this one, but this is a little worse, but it's nothing compared to all my other inks. Let's see what other one is there. You can see from the time it took me to put on my pen cap and run my finger across it, how much of a smear there is. And like I said, this is nothing compared to any of my other inks. I feel like the brown does the best, but I don't know, I might've paused a little longer on that one, but that is it in here. And then really quick, I just wanna show you guys what it looks like in my new Sterling Ink Planner. This is gonna be my main planner for next year. And I think I might wanna get the gray ink to use in this one, but for now I'll probably use brown. And this is how it looks in here. So here they all are in the pen sizes that I just showed you, but this is on the new Tomo River paper. And then here is the ghosting on the back so you guys can see. There is not too much ghosting. The black one gives the most ghosting, but it's not much, it doesn't bleed through at all. Like I said, I use this blue one in my regular everyday planner, which is Moleskine paper. Moleskine, Moleskine, however you say it. And I just can't press too hard because when I press too hard, it does bleed through a little. I know that this ink also does really well in Loic terms because that's what my husband uses. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little pen test. I've never done one before, but now I have to redo these two. These colors are so gorgeous and I love that I don't have ink smears all over my planners now. I'm gonna go ahead and create a blog post to show you guys some more up close stuff and give you guys a little bit more details about this ink. I hope for any of you guys that are looking for an ink that doesn't smear as fast, especially if you're a lefty, go check out Jet Pens and grab yourself some of this ink. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.